Hi everybody, it's our last writing for children mini lesson for the semester, uh, lesson 27. And I thought today I would, um, I'd talk a little bit about the, uh, what I think about uh, writing for children and writing for adults. And I already mentioned this to you um, early on, I believe in the semester, is, and it came up, I think it was like Andra had a question or it came up in my office with Andra. Anyway, it, it was an, already, I thought, a pretty interesting discussion. And I made the point that I think they're the same thing. Like whether you write for children or write for adults, what matters is that you write well. Um, what matters is that you write from your heart right? And what I was going to say is that you write the truth. But of course, that's complicated because we're talking about fiction, right? In our course, we're not, it's not a journalism course. Um, so, but I, but I, it is the truth for me because there's, and it's something we've talked about before. It's like an emotional truth, something that's honest, that your characters are real and that that's because you understand them and it comes from something inside you. So I hope that makes sense to you follow the rules for dialogue, right? Like that's good writing. Doesn't matter if it's for kids or for adults. Leave out the boring parts. Like that's important. And the thing that I've told you all along, and I'll spare you the song that went with it, but it's like, take us there. Take your reader with you into the world of the story. And the lesson yesterday's YouTube lesson rewrite, rewrite till you can't look at it straight anymore, right? Rewrite and rewrite and rewrite. And when you're done, rewrite it again, right? Because that's what makes good writing. It's really, it, the, the irony is when you read really good writing, it looks like it was easy, but it's always the result of hard work. And don't be afraid of encountering problems because I think this is something which also I would have mentioned to you, but one of my friends said, once came to class and said, all writing is problem solving. Okay, so I probably have already mentioned that to you, um, but it's true. You write a word and you're already like, okay, what's the next word? You write a paragraph and you're like, now what? You know, I'm working on, on my story and I'm like, okay, I, I, I set up the, the mother's phone call, but now what's she going to do? Now how do I explain why she's phoning at this hour of the night and why the kid has to come leave the sleepover, which is what happened in my story, right? It's a new problem to solve. So don't be afraid of that. And maybe a final thing I can tell you, something I really believe, is that being a writer takes courage, right? It takes courage to keep working when you think it's crappy, um, but it takes courage to like, here, I'm trying to show you to dig, right? Dig deep because that's where the best stories are. So this is a kind of a short YouTube. We're only at three minutes, 17 seconds. But I want to say that I'm sorry that I didn't get to complete the semester with you in person. But I feel very lucky that I got to start it with you in person. Um, I feel lucky that I'm your teacher and um, you won't get my banana bread. And you'll be at university next year. So even if I make the banana breads, like for my not, this is my things that weigh on my mind, banana bread. Um, but I will make a banana bread and I'll send a note out the day I make it. And maybe it won't be too far from Marinopolis. And maybe you'll want to come and for a visit. I'll make you banana bread because it's my tradition. Anyway, okay. So thinking of you, all of you, um, good luck with all your assignments. Um, good luck with, you know, the transition to school next year to university with the online. It looks like we're all going to be online for a while and, uh, look after yourselves, look after the people you love and thank you for, for looking after the rest of us, right? Cause that's what you're doing as young people. So, uh, and we'll have a lot of stories from all of this. Okay. Take notes. Bye.